to pediatric trauma centers in the United States, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Instead of passing legislation aimed at reducing that number, the bill that was passed last session and signed into law by Governor Scott may increase that number. That is the primary reason why we're here today. However, in addition to that being an issue of public safety, or more specifically, household safety, it's also an issue of interference. The bill which passed the legislature last year, known as the Glocks versus Docks bill, directly interferes with the sacred doctor-patient relationship. Government has an important role to play in our society. The gun lobby has a role to play. And while I'm supportive of the Second Amendment rights of my constituents and all Floridians, I am absolutely opposed to the government through the Florida legislature teaming up with the gun lobby to interfere in that doctor-patient relationship. Mm -hmm. Further, for a Republican-led legislature that claims to be for less government, less regulation, and more personal freedoms, I found this bill to be particularly hypocritical. Look, people move into the state of Florida every day. To expect them to know our laws the minute they cross the border is unreasonable. So, for example, for a pediatrician to ask his or her new patient if they own a gun for the purpose of letting them know about Florida's gun laws relating to trigger locks is entirely reasonable. If the parent doesn't like the question, he or she doesn't have to answer it. It's as simple as that. This was a bill that was not only unnecessary, it was silly. And it's not right. It's not right to our physicians, and it's not right to their patients. What's next? Is the pharmaceutical industry going to ask or going to lobby for legislation banning a physician from asking whether there are prescription medications in the home? Will we be hearing from Johnson & Johnson lobbying for legislation banning questions related to how poisonous cleaning products like ammonia are stored? What's more important, protecting the life of a child or prohibiting an adult from his or her doctor asking a simple question that he or she doesn't even have to answer? That's why I'm honored to sponsor legislation to repeal this law. I'm honored to have the support of Doctors for America and many other physicians in our community including those here at All Children's Hospital. I'm not naive. I don't expect leadership in Tallahassee to schedule this bill for a committee here. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop speaking out against bad legislation. And this is bad legislation. I also think it's important that we have legislation complementing the litigation that currently exists. And I'm hopeful, even if this legislation doesn't get a hearing, that that litigation will undo what the legislature did. I thank all of you for being here today. I thank our medical community that keeps our children safe, that takes care of our children, uh, since obviously the legislature doesn't seem to want to do that. Uh, and I thank all of you that are here today. And we're going to adjourn the press conference, but each of us will be here and on hand to take any questions that you may have. Please let the uh, Senate President, let the Speaker of the House, let members of your delegation know that this is an important bill, that this bill deserves to be heard in committee, that this bill deserves a chance to be voted on again in the floor, and let's undo what was done that shouldn't have been done in the first place. Thank you so much.